Guess what we're doing? <laughs> They're all three of them are looking. We have one panting dog, we have two panting dogs, we have three panting dogs. So since it's been so warm outside, we thought we would make a fun frozen watermelon dog treat. So I hope you guys like watermelon, because uh, I'm not really sure. I think you've had it before. I think Oakley's had it before, but we'll find out. Let's get to it. This is a very easy, simple recipe. So this is really a super, super simple recipe. All you need is one cup of either coconut water or coconut milk. We are using unsweetened coconut milk. You need two cups of pureed seedless watermelon. If you use a seeded watermelon, be sure to remove all the seeds. And then an optional tablespoon of honey. You'll need some ice cube trays and all the stuff we have here. And of course, some dogs. I mean, unless you want to eat them yourself, and then I'm sure you can. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is make a giant mess and cut a watermelon in half. It's going to messy. Please keep your eyes, nose, and ears away from the table at all times. At least I'm done with the knife. Whoa! Whoa! Was that is that amazing? Is that amazing? This is your half. You want some? Oh, would you like to try it? Now that you effectively licked the cu cucumber, <laughs> the watermelon. Okay. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this to get your two cups. I have a measuring thing on my actual blender, so I'm just gonna scoop it out and put it in the blender and puree it. Probably find out if the dogs like watermelon. Okay, you like watermelon. Do you like watermelon? Well, you like watermelon. What about you, Shelby? Shelby's like, hmm. She seriously spit it out. You're such a diva! I like watermelon if I dip it in some coconut milk. Here, now it's dipped in coconut milk. Is that better? No, she spit that out too. Shelby might not like watermelon treats. We'll find out when they're all done. As you're spooning it out, you can see it gets kind of juicy. You can literally just pour the juice into your blender. <laughs> so we're gonna puree some of this and see how much we have. Bite for you. Oh my goodness. Bite for you. No, oh, that's for Oakley. Bite for Oakley. Shelby's still sitting here like she wants some, but uh, let's see. Shelby, you want some? Okay. She spit it out again. <laughs> All right, now. Your watermelon puree or juice will look something like that. This is an optional step to add a little bit of honey, but I know my girls like honey. So we're gonna add about that much. And then we're gonna add the one cup of either coconut milk or coconut water. Again, I'm using unsweetened coconut milk. And mix it together. Probably don't have to mix it together for very long. Now comes the super messy part. I am using silicone ice cube trays. You can use silicone ice cube trays, you can use regular ice cube trays. With the silicone ice cube trays though, I would suggest putting it on something. I actually have mine on a cookie sheet, because otherwise when you go to pick these up when they're full, they bend and they make a huge mess. So, now we're gonna try to figure out how to pour this without making a huge mess. Pour a little bit in here, which will make it much more manageable. Man, you dogs are so lucky. And pour it into the ice cube trays. And try not to make a giant mess. Uh, so now these ones have to freeze. I actually have about this much left. So I'm gonna need some more trays. More ice cube trays. So now we have the ice cube trays filled. We're gonna put these in the freezer. What do you think, Memphis? We're gonna put them in the freezer and as soon as they're frozen, the girls can try them. While the watermelon dog treats are frozen, maybe Shelby will like one frozen. Let's see. What do you think, Shelby? She took it and she spit it out. Memphis? Oakley here. Oakley here. Hey, that, you're not Oakley. Shelby's eating it. You ate, you didn't actually eat it. He just licked it. No. So Shelby says no, but apparently Oakley and Memphis say yes. 
They like them? You like them? They like them. Let's try it one more time, Shelby. Oh, she ate that one! And she didn't spit it out! Okay, so maybe she only likes certain shapes. That must be the ticket, just certain shapes. Well, there you go, you guys. Now you can make frozen watermelon dog treats for your dogs. Something nice to keep them cool in the summertime while it's ridiculously hot outside. As always, you wanna try one? I say, are they bad? No. Are they dog treats? They're dog treats, yes, but they don't have anything bad in them. Can so you figure out? People too? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Can you figure out what's in them? Watermelon. Watermelon. And coconut and honey. Coconut milk. Watermelon. Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, you can eat them too. I am good. You can mm -hmm. share them with your daddy. <laughs> Shelby finally ate one. <laughs> She's like, maybe I will eat two. See, Shelby, they're it's good. Nice, nice, cool treat. I just gave you one. <laughs> All right, I'll share another one with you. Mmm. Uh, mm. Look at my fingers. My fingers taste like watermelon too. <laughs> Alright you guys, as always, there will be a card section up at the top. You can click on to see more of our other treat videos or there will be links down in the video description below. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye!